Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're playing Run Here Mama by Charlie Musselwhite on a B-flat harmonica. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please remember to click like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for free harmonica lessons every single week. So today we're looking at Run Here Mama by Charlie Musselwhite. We're using a B-flat harmonica, and we're going to look at the intro solo. If you'd like to learn the full song, including an intro and two big solos as well, I have a premium lesson, and you can find the link beneath this video. Also check out the link for my premium members zone. Now this gives you access to all of my premium lessons, including a new lesson every single week for $19.99 a month. So do check out the link for that as well. So let's get straight on with learning this. I'm gonna play you the intro first so you can hear what we're dealing with. So we're going to look at those first 12 bars in this lesson on YouTube today. So you can see the tab on your screen, let's crack right on with this. Uh, it's a really cool groove actually, it kind of reminds me of like um, Rock Me Baby, those sort of lazy kind of swamp groove kind of blues tunes, um, it's a really nice one. So there's kind of repeated little phrases involved, let's have a little listen just to phrase A. Okay, slow that down. Yeah, that's cool. So, I've got it as... So, we're gonna start with a little bit of an out breath, just a, a kind of just getting the air out on holes one, two, three, a kind of blow chord if you like. And then we're going two draw, two draw, full step bend, and then a little one draw and one blow. Now, why are the first and the last bit in brackets? Well, for me, because they're more of a chordal thing, more of a subtle note when it comes to the one draw and the one blow, um, that it's not as if every note has the same volume. <laughs> like that, you know, it's more... You know, the uh, especially those notes on hole one are um, really, really quite subtle. So we've got... Okay, so line A plays uh, that phrase twice, so you can see times two on the uh, tab, and then line B comes along, so let's have a listen to line B. Okay, so you might at first glance think, oh, that's just the same thing, but let's have a listen. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so it's more a kind of, um, I think it's more of a slapping sort of thing this time. So I've gone for a one, two, three draw that narrows to a two draw. Like that, instead of a blow. I think it's maybe that. And then the same two draw full step bend in one draw. And then one draw again and two draw and two draw full step bend. And then we go in one draw, one draw bend, one blow. And this is crucial because it kind of signals the chord change that, that we're moving into. We're changing to the next chord, the four chord, and 
by going to that one blow, we're hitting the root note of that coming chord. So it's a good way of signalling something's changing here. We we kind of uh, we're going somewhere else, if you like. So let's have a listen to line C. Yeah, that's really cool. So we've got one blow and then four blow and then three draw semitone bend and two draw. And there's something cool going on here because he's he's kind of modulated. So he's he's moved the same phrase into fitting the next chord almost. It's kind of um it's not, he's not doing the exact same thing, but it's very close. So it kind of feels like you're moving on to the next chord in a, in a, it's a satisfying way for the listener, if you like. So um, yeah, that that's kind of going on there, so. And uh, yeah, as I just did then, he plays that phrase twice, and then it goes back to the one chord. So for line D, we have, let's have a listen. So it's very similar, pretty, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we're, we're back to the same phrase. It, it's a basic kind of, kind of thing of modulating and then going back, when, when we go back to the original chord, go back to the original phrase. But I have tabbed it out ever so slightly different, just because I'm trying to get the little subtleties in what he's playing. I'm, I'm doing my best. I mean, if, if Charlie were to watch this, he might think, what the hell's he on about? <laughs> um, but I put... So, we're starting still with the blow chord, and then we're going to a two-draw, two-draw, full-step bend, and then the one-draw, one-blow. So that's all the same as line A. But then the next bit... I've done more of that narrowing the chord to the single two draw again, and then two draw full step bend with some nice vibrato put on if possible. And to get vibrato on that two draw full step bend is a little bit tricky. Check out my video on vibrato if you want to uh, learn about that. But essentially we've just gone back to the same phrase. Now the next phrase, line E, we're hitting the five chord, so we're gonna hit something different for this. Yeah, again, he's kind of modulating. Yeah, that's nice, so we've got So I think he's slapping these notes. That's what that little SL means. So he's starting with a, kind of a chordal thing, his tongue off, and he puts his tongue on to get that percussive sort of sound. Um, and I reckon he's playing octaves. So one, four, draw, one, four, blow, one, four, draw. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Really, really cool. Um, and then, kind of a little bit of a blow chord and then a four blow. So you could call it a slap, I suppose. If you do it kind of quickly and percussively again. And then three draw semitone bend. And then two draw. which is the four chord again, so he's kind of playing what he did on the four chord. Don't worry, by the way, if the one chord, four chord, five chord don't mean a lot to you. I'm putting it in there, giving it giving it to you in case that makes sense, but it, you can just play the notes if, if you don't know what that means. Okay, and then finally we have line F. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so again, really, really, um, similar to our first few lines, so just. So it's kind of filling the same space, it's doing the same job, but I think, again, I've tabbed it out ever so slightly differently. This time I've just got a two draw, 
and then two draw full step bend and then a little blow chord and then a two draw and a two draw full step bend again. Okay. And that takes us to the end of the first 12 bars. Now the intro goes for I think another 12 bars and then there's a big solo in the middle and a solo kind of towards the end of the song as well. If you'd like to learn the full song and there's some really cool stuff in there and especially the first solo, it goes way up to some really high notes. I'll just give you a little preview of that because it's really kind of like, you just wouldn't expect it to, to go there in a way. It's really, really cool. Let me uh, find that for you. So here we go. Like, you didn't expect him to go there. <laughs> there he goes. So anyway, if you'd like to learn that, and, and there's another cool solo later on, I've got a premium lesson, and there's a link beneath this video to uh, go and get that. Also, if you'd like all my premium lessons in one place, whenever you like, then I have a new member zone. For $19.99 a month, you get access to all of my premium lessons, and that's a growing collection because I'm adding one new premium lesson every single week. So do check that out as well. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Do give me your feedback. I'd love to hear your thoughts and get your requests for lessons as well. You can put comments beneath the video. You can email me, contact at learntheharmonica.com and you can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Just search Learn The Harmonica on those platforms. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice and I'll see you soon. Cheers.